For this duck testing video, I'm going to be showcasing a list I've been playing an awful lot in my spare time, uh, specifically when I'm on lunch break at work or something like that. If I want to just pick up a deck and kind of jam it for surprise factor, this has been my go-to. This is a mid-range tribunal build, and it's just a lot of fun. It catches people by surprise a lot because they see tribunal and then they mulligan according to control tribunal. Uh, this is definitely not control. This is mid-range. No one drops, right? This is not really an aggressive tribunal. This is, however, mid-range in the early parts of the game. You use your big bodies to fight for control of the board and then you kind of pivot and you're looking to win the game across, uh, you know, a, a couple of turns where you get some big swings. So the idea is you kind of fight for the board until typically uh, six or seven when some big bombs come down, things like Conjurer, things like uh, Mighty Conjuring, Naha Gleave. Naha Gleave is actually really good in the current meta. Not as many Vipers running around as there used to be. And uh, outside of Dawn's Wrath, pretty solid card. So anyway, this is the list. As always, there will be a deck code in the video description. And as always, we're gonna go hop on the ladder and we're gonna play two games, win or lose. We always hope for more wins than losses, or at least one win to go 50-50, but as we've seen in the past, sometimes that's not the case, so let's let's hope for the wins. Th this is a fun list for me because, like I said, it's very common that you'll get people who mulligan for a different matchup. I see it most often when I'm queuing into other tribunal players or when I'm queuing into other Telvani players, I typically have a really easy time getting the victory. I'm actually going to keep this conjurer here uh, simply because they, they mulligan for greed, right? And a control mirror, uh, especially against something like tribunal, you're, you're just planning for the late game you're trying to make sure that your bombs are going to be bigger than theirs and then when somebody starts putting some meaty bodies on the board it really throws things off i yeah, i think this is fine i'm a little hesitant because once you play this this kind of tips your hand people go wait a minute this Watch isn't yourself, tribunal man. and we don't have a good follow-up play Yeah, I'm actually fine with this. Now, if they follow this up with like a dagger fall, that feels bad, but I think I think this is fine over the mammoth. And now we know we are up against Dragon Guild Sword, it would seem. All right, so this is that point where you say, okay, I really hope they don't have the javelin. Uh, spoiler alert. They always have the javelin. Oh, no, they do not. Skaven, maybe? Archer, okay. Well, they had some sort of answer. So, uh, we just keep doing this, right? You, like, you just play big bodies over and over. Now, if the 5th Legion trainer sticks around for a bit, this actually works out pretty well in our favor because the conjurer can come down this turn. And we're going to do just that. Bring this conjurer down. And if we have a couple of uh, exchanges here this next turn, uh, we have the opportunity, as long as this survives, to actually necro back a conjurer, which is a very powerful play for obvious reasons. So they're going that route. We may not actually go with the Necro on the Conjurer this turn. They'll never get the best. We're gonna make this trade here, and then I think instead what we're gonna opt for is uh, making them, forcing them to trade into this on their own. I think I'd rather take the damage here. Or maybe, Speak, maybe they're gonna kill it. No, they did not, okay. So uh, we get this nice guardsman here. That's kind of cute. Thank you, Phalanx Exemplar. Uh, we have to decide now, do we want to edict this just to prevent the health gain? Or do we want to 
develop bodies. I feel like we actually do just want to edict that. It's a tough call. It is our only hard removal here. I mean, our 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 alternative is uh, we could do something like Young Mammoth and Golden Initiative. Uh, excuse me, Initiate, not Initiative. Uh, Mammoth is coming down either way. Guardsman's going to come down either way. My sword is yours. It's, again, just a question of do I want to prevent this health gain? I think the answer is yes. I, I might end up regretting that later. Might regret that later. We are concerned about Ice Storm. Ice Storm clears everything but the Mammoth, but more importantly, it clears our 5th Legion trainer. Two, it does fill us with sadness. Because we want to use that for our Necro Chains here. And uh, yeah, now we immediately regret using... Immediately regret using... Our edict of Azura. You fight like a child. Right, well, not much we can do here, uh, except for push damage and apparently just trigger prophecies. That's what we're gonna do all game long. So uh, again, getting that Septum Guardsman. I think here we want this. And I do think that we want to take this. We'll just go ahead and... I almost made a mistake there. We want to resurrect the, the Alfie Conjurer. And then consume the Guardsman. Alright, there we go. My sword is yours. I almost kind of blacked out for a moment because in my head I was like, all right, we've already done the uh, Conjurer and I thought I was picking something to consume. So uh, paying attention there, pretty relevant. Wow. That's a big play. That is a big time play. Too slow. Just go ahead and do this then. It's the best the best play that we have and hope that they do not have the hard removal, but uh, spoiler alert, they usually have the hard removal. A javelin or anything of similar effect is a pretty big deal here. Oh. Maybe we're getting lucky. They broke that ward. Maybe it's a lightning bolt on the follow-up? Wildfire will certainly slow things down. And that Glacial Dragon is proving to be a very big annoyance, a very big problem. For a number of reasons, because uh, the reality is here, uh, we're threatened by Unstoppable Rage on this side. Like, that is a very significant threat. And there is not much that we can do about it, actually. Yeah, I, I'm actually not seeing a whole lot that we can do about that at all. So if they have the Unstoppable Rage, that will just be game-winning for the opponent. Yeah. Well, if we can't play around it, then we might as well just do uh, something here to give us the best chance at winning. 
And we could overwrite, I guess, one of these just to be a little more resilient. We'll do that because with these two, we can always chain necromancers here in the future. But a simple rage will get the job done from our opponent. There's nothing we can do about it as they fight a sneeze. No! You are not going to win! Alright. I got it under control. Ooh, I thought I was going to sneeze right into the mic there for a moment. It was sudden. It was a very abrupt potential sneeze. And they did not have the rage. They did not have the removal. And that is... Well, I mean, that's fantastic for us. So we can go ahead and make these trades. We can gain some health here. Feel really good about that. And... And I guess break this room. Get this yet. It hasn't really worked out for us yet. No, we can, we can do some dirty things here. We have room for four more bodies on the board and we can generate four more with even just these two because again of the necromancer chain into Elfik. So uh, that that does seem I'll to be them into shape. That seem to be the play that we are going for here. Rise my Actually, yeah, we're we're uh, not even going to be chaining into uh, that because um, that still doesn't let us like flood the board the way we want. So I guess instead we're going with the young mammoth here. I did my math wrong. That is uh, rather rather unfortunate. I suppose we could have still went with the Elfie just to have the guard here. Shale. Holding my breath as we wait and see what they have drummed up. Yeah, I'm so bad at math, apparently. That sneeze really threw me off. I can't count. I mean, I was correct. It was four, four creatures, but it was actually five. I actually think the correct play would have been to have simply just foregone Fifth Legion Trainer all together. Alright, they did not trade, which tells me they might be trying to set themselves up for a potential lightning bolt victory. But uh, we can dodge that with our drain. Yeah, so we should be fine here. Because even if they catch any sort of weird prophecy, we can go ahead and get that done. I have a daily for attacking and destroying creatures. I, I probably should have taken trades there to get the daily, but we're just going to skip that, get it naturally. Yeah, I got a, a whole bunch here, but we got one daily done. And we're going to go to game two, because again, it's two games win or lose. Uh, preferably, we want wins, and even more so, I think, this time around, I want uh, no sneezes. No attempts to disrupt the flow of the game, and more importantly, disrupt the flow of the video. I really thought I was going to sneeze right into the mic, and it was super abrupt. I, I felt like I had snorted pepper all of a sudden. It was just on one side, and it was burning hot. Like, I'm not even fighting a cold or anything. Really bizarre. All right. Now we are going to be matched up against Sorcerer. And in this matchup, uh, we do not want this. We want this, hopefully, off of Prophecy. And I think we're going to throw this back as well, because 
we want some two drops. And if we don't find any, this is not the kind of three drop that we want to play onto an empty board. This looks much better. Again, no no one drops here, so we're not going to find a quartermaster, for example, to lead things off. But now we get to tip our hand and say, all right, we are, we are not your father's tribunal. We are edgy here with our wind keep spell sword. <laughs> well, if if that doesn't say uh, they're not your traditional sorcerer, then I don't know what does. This is this is fun. So we've had dragon guild sworn and now singleton sorcerer while I'm playing mid tribunal. This is this is the stuff of dreams. And I'm actually kind of tempted to take the trades here. I think we're going to. Vile canker boy. Therana is one of those things that I just don't want to deal with. So if this is Singleton Sorcerer, you have to assume that they are going to be running some obviously non-traditional stuff, but Ice Storm is a consideration. Maybe even a Soul Tear, because a one of Soul Tear with Therana lets you chain things around. Yet. I mean, there's all, all sorts of weird interactions that sometimes pop up so we're gonna do this does mean he's gonna likely get rid of my dagger fall with the counter trade but right now we're just trying to actually out resource them a bit we've put them behind on board and cards in hand so the more that we can continue that trend i think the better off we will be Doppelganger. Okay, I see you. Interesting that you copied this. That tells me next You're turn me. we might be seeing Siege, which is a very scary thought. A very scary thought. Um, here, I think that I want to go ahead and do this. And I actually, I thought about the Dawnbreaker, but let's actually cycle this because I, I want to trade here as well. And see if we end up getting sieged here. There it is. Wow. They had they had the masterwork and the siege basically in their opening hand. There's the mushroom tower. There is the soul tear, which we'll likely get back through on. Yeah, this is you know, for obvious reasons, not going well for us at the moment. Grievous! But if we can survive this, we'll actually be in a pretty decent position. So that was, sadly, only siege number one. <laughs> Morakai, um, doesn't restore a room. Gonna gain him a lot of health. So, I mean, you know, bravo there, but... Wow, they're not even running a a single support version. They just got the Mushroom Tower by luck the first time. I'm, I'm not even angry. I'm just impressed. All right, well, again, I think we just slowly but surely maybe try to outvalue them. I know that sounds weird because they just double sieged, but I stand to right serve. now it's not as terrible as it could have been. Khajiit will keep you safe. <laughs> of course they find their single conjurer. Why wouldn't they? That's okay. Feeling pretty good about this nonetheless. We have a, a fair number of answers available to us. Not going to panic. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We definitely want to deal with this. And I will take this trade. And the question now becomes do I want to get rid of Mushroom Tower uh, or maybe even Mage's Guild Retreat with this Edict? Because I don't honestly believe Edict on one of these creatures makes sense. I think that the support removal is more important. My instincts say Mushroom Tower, but they've already got the major value from it. 
Whereas Mage's Guild Retreat is the sort of thing that can be annoying for um, maybe eternity. So I think we're going to go with the Mushroom Tower here. And this is uh, this is a slugfest. Okay, I mean that gets through the guard. Certainly makes this a little bit smaller, but they still need one more damage to get the full trade here into our lava atronach. Otherwise, we'll be taking some value trades, and I'm okay with that. What a battle between two decks that have not broken a rune. Okay. No mood for you. Okay. Alright, I understand. That's actually a, a pretty huge play. Time to take the offensive. Guarding up, giving something guard there. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Okay. All of those seem very relevant. I think, I however, many important that uh, we just want to do something like this because even with the sword and the steel dagger, they still now should need one more damage in order to trade into this. And the more resources that we can make them use, the better off we'll be. Now, they could... Could have other things, you know, fireball, negation, etc., etc., but... If this dies, then we just have our, our conjurer, and there, there we go. Are you listening to me? You better be. All right, so Therana annoying because not a lot that we can do we'll there. We'll see about this. Kajit will keep you safe. But we'll go ahead and make the big one now. We also don't need to worry about things like Dawn's ready. Wrath. A wave of the Fallen could be a thing. And the way this game is going, I would not put it past them, but... We're going to load up here because I, I think trading into this Therana makes the most sense. I'm, again, still kind of more scared of Therana than, than I am over here. They, they will get this trade, this and, uh, and that's exactly why we you. wanted to deal with Therana, right? Because Rise, we, we just do not want to deal with them shuffling actions back in. Again, removes the guard, and uh, in this case, the ward. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Murder. All right, so we found our own necromancer, which is good for a dagger fall. Which is probably just, you know, good enough, if you will. Um, we could technically go higher. So, actually, if we... If we find a way to suicide our conjurer, then this brings that back. So we actually might just hold out there. And uh, I think what we're going to do instead here is we're going to go ahead and make this trade like this. And this like this. Because now this can only trade into that, and that's the one that we want to bite it, if you will. And we we'll develop here so again so far uh, against a deck that very early hit the siege into mushroom tower combo through a string of sheer luck especially because they were running other supports we are still finding a way to do our best to try to out resource them now this land Earth. yeah that's not something I'm excited to see you know we'll just be honest about that But we can throw some stuff over there to try to contest here in just a minute.
We actually, if they weren't at 31, we actually have a shot at lethal here. Uh, this is 12 damage, 17, 21. If you replace this with a body, then that gives potentially something else to the plus three. That would have been 24. This would have been 28. But they did take the trade, so... We'll change things, and they're... Gonna search again. A singleton sorcerer full of tricks. Certainly being a thorn in our side. And now the real test is how confident are they, and they do not want to give me another card. And uh, I don't blame them. Go no We're gonna give them some cards though. We're just gonna go ahead and do it because we would like this East March Crusader to hopefully find some other things for us. Rise, my and then we're going to go ahead and, uh, again, grab this Alfie kind of, kind of flood the board over there, and we'll get rid of the wind keep here. So we've got a nice wide board. Something like Winter's Grasp could be a great source of stall. Uh, Ice Storm could clear a fair amount right now. There's the ice storm. But we made them use it, and that is their only one, so uh, overall still a, a bit of a win in my book. I have many important things on my mind. All right, Uncano. Nahagleave is a great pickup to go with our Emperor here this Let next turn if necessary. I've noticed a flaw in your plan. Careful there, friend. Alright, well I think the the path is pretty straight before us. Um, actually, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to drop this, because with the Divine Fervor, this means uh, this has to break its ward, but then this likely has to go in front, and I think we want Nahagleave over here, because Nahagleave is very tough to kill if you do not have the Mummify. Mummify um, can't target it, so again, like Waves of the Fallen, or it has to be Silence plus a Mummify, something like that. That is a great way to do it. If we don't find removal, uh, silence, something like that, could be the right answer. But again, that's that's a one of for them. So we've made them use a lot of their really powerful cards. So when you consider everything that went right here, oh, interesting. This is clearly copying Uncano to zap something. Very good Abner as well. Gonna go with the zap there. That will allow them to take all of those trades there we'll in the field lane. But does now present me with the dilemma of does this go face or do I pop the ward so that I can Dawnbreaker into that and survive? The problem with that play, however, is that then I just turn around and I die to Abner. So I actually think this does go face. We only have one left, and we've used our Uncano, so it does Five put us in a bit of a pickle, but... Alright. We did not find the... The silence, the removal that we were hoping for. Sadly, this does not get rid of undead any longer. And so I think we are uh, kind of forced to jump into the field and then pass and hope that they don't have an answer for the, the two bodies. This is not a great spot for us. I guess the argument could be made that maybe them at eight health is still better. Point. 
because if we if we don't find an answer here in the string of cards we get, we could just be dead next turn. You must be cleansed. Getting rid of the divine fervor. We'll see. Let's clear this. Speak, citizen. It's a very important prophecy. Because we need just anybody to survive. And be able to attack. Now they could still have guards. That they can plot down. Interesting they decided to turn that. Yeah. Now they're eyeballing my initiate. No! See, that's why that Therana was such a big deal before. Wow, and they have the negation on top of it. They just had a fist full of answers, and we are actually still going to lose this despite all of our efforts. The longer the odds, the sweeter the victory. Despite all of our efforts. I'm not sure that we could have won, even if we had bolted this and traded. Given what we know now that they had in their hand multiple forms of silence still. The the only hope we have at this point is we get one rune break. Unless they can find a way to skip both runes. But if we get one rune break, it's got to be literally our last lightning bolt in the deck. So yeah. Going to lose, but if, if, you're, if you're gonna lose, losing to Singleton Sorcerer with the like absolute insane draw that this deck had in the opener. Three forms of reduction on the cost of Siege. And that will we'll seal the game. Three forms of reduction on Siege hits the Mushroom Tower even though they run multiple supports. We did our best. We did our best. Sometimes you just can't beat that many high rolls, and that's it. That is two games, win or lose. So if you made it this far, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, may you walk on warm sands.